song, phone, and garage band. All those combined, you can make free ringtones. Let's make some of those. Okay, now that you guys have seen the lesson store, which is pretty rad, if I may say, let's move on. Let's actually jump over Magic Garage Band and go to iPhone ringtones because I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail within the next few videos of Magic Garage Band. So click on iPhone ringtone and come on, who doesn't wanna make a free ringtone? So once you click on the iPhone ringtone, um, you're presented with these and to be honest it kind of doesn't matter what you choose but for right now let's just choose example ringtone because it automatically sets up uh, the way you should set up a ringtone and that's a good starting point so let's hit choose and this brings up a little uh, new project from template thing and just go ahead and name it what ringtone you have in mind if you you know let's put like really rad song or let's do really rad ringtone <clears throat> and save it wherever you want to save it make sure you know what folder you're putting it in and all this junk of uh, tempo signature that really doesn't matter at all we're just gonna make a ringtone okay so hit create and I'm just gonna hit this little button right here. So we got, all right, we got the full screen. Okay, let's go ahead and let's play this example that GarageBand has set up. I'm gonna turn it down just a bit because I think it might be a little loud. So it's a very serene, chill ringtone. I think this is one of their default ones. And then as you know, it loops around because ringtones loop around. You get the concept of the loop button. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. All right, so since ringtones are about, you know, 20 seconds or so long, um, using this example session within GarageBand is really cool because all I have to do is really, since this track is selected, once I click it, I can delete the track by either going to track and delete track or using the Apple delete. I'm going to hold Apple and delete because I like using that one. So hold Apple, hit delete, boom, track is gone. <clears throat> okay. Um, so now let's dump in the song that we want to make into our tracks and usually you know, songs are stored into our iTunes. And you all know how to get to your iTunes now because we went over the interface. And if you remember, it's this guy, this little guy in the corner right here, the media button. Let's click on that. And then we have our iTunes already selected because it's the default first one. And I'm gonna choose this really rad dude called Setting Sunrise. I don't know if you guys heard of him, but I'm gonna choose his song and make it into a ringtone. Once it dumps it in, you just click and drag from your iTunes sidebar right here and just click and drag and it'll automatically makes a track for you. And click and drag, slide this to the very beginning of the timeline. And I'm also gonna go down here and zoom out for you guys so you can kind of see the whole song. Now I'm gonna choose uh, the chorus or a little bit right before the chorus. So, because I want my ringtone to be that chorus part, because, you know, choruses are usually the best parts of songs anyway. And choruses are about uh, a minute or so, 45 seconds. Let's see if we can find it. And, oh, first I got to take off that loop button, or the loop section, by hitting the loop button, going down here. Just hit that loop button. That way, once we play it, it won't get stuck in that loop section. Okay, let's play it. <laughs> Okay, that was really loud. <laughs> Let me turn it down. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward it just a little bit. Okay, so there's a chorus right there. It's somewhere right here. 
Okay, that seems good. So I'm going to place it right there. And I'm going to make a basic edit cut. And we'll get into editing a lot later on and, you know, get super cool with editing and whatnot. But for right now, all you need to know is if you want to make a cut, just place the play marker wherever you want the cut to be, such as right here. And you just hit Apple and then T. Or you can go up to the edit and hit split and see how that shows you Apple T. There you go. So I'm going to hit Apple T and that cuts it. And this region is selected. And I'm just going to delete that because I don't need that. That's the beginning of the song. I'm going to click and drag this guy all the way to the beginning. And I'm going to click and drag the play marker to the beginning. And let's hear that again. Now I'm going to just decide where I want the loop button or where I want the loop section to stop. So right around there would be a good area to stop. I'm going to zoom in because we're kind of zoomed out right now since we're only dealing with about the first 20 seconds or so. Okay, that's a much better view. Now, let's go ahead and hit that loop button. All right, it's pretty close to where we want it. Let's just click and drag it, the ruler. That way, once it hits that section, it just loops back to the beginning. That way, it works just like a ringtone. So once the uh, 20 seconds or so is d are done, it goes back to that beginning cycle, just like a ringtone. And now, I'm going to make another cut by hitting Apple T and I'm going to get rid of this access fat right here and you just hit delete and now we have what we want. So now all you have to do is go to hit share and send ringtone to iTunes and this exports the audio and sends it to your iTunes and it automatically puts it into your ringtone section for your iTunes section and totally free. So that's really cool, really easy, really fast. And um, let's go ahead and do that anyway. So it's uh, exporting from GarageBand and I've got my phone plugged in right now. So it's giving me that little, but there's our ringtone. As you can see, it's iTunes. It's in our ringtone section or library for iTunes. That's cool, right? And then once you plug your phone in, you can just easily drag it in. And that's it. Super simple. Now go make some ringtones, okay? So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com.